Lich King or Tyrion? Ironically, those are two good picks and they fought each other in the lore. Lich King, Tyrion, Lich King. Ha! This guy's toast. Two Galvadon WTF? Ha! <sighs> Equality. I'd rather get Spellbreakers and Heritage than Jones, right? But what if he plays Mountain Giant? Well, then we cry. Extra ho oh, This is an extraordinary jelly bean. <laughs> Does what's the face this for? Two Galavadon. Coil and current here. So shit. How are you doing? Job done. Whatever you do, don't play Mountain Giant. Whoa, Stone Hill. Hmm, is he the controllist? Sometimes they run the controllist. Yikes. Alright. Thinking, 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 think, 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 think. I know I don't want to play this yet. Which path to choose? Let's do this, I guess. Spellbreaker can be Gucci Gucci. You know what, at the end of the day, I can also face this manipulator, his void lord too. If we have to. We can complete the quest off a of 10 mana sound of bell. But we have to stick Uno minion for a turn. Thank you for the following subs. Let's see here. Do -do -do -do. Glonix entire universe. Yo, Franz. Alec Mo. H9 backstab Stu Plat Cyranix Game Jedi Hoozy Fang Bullet Stir Annie Thank you so much guys That was a very early defile but it's fine with us I guess the biggest thing I'm worried about now is just freaking um, twisting nether if he's control cube But we don't know what he is yet it could just be Q block with a bad opener. Because Q block still runs Stonehill every now and then. I want to figure out what he is first. That explains a lot. <laughs> wow, you just really uh, threw it out there, huh, buddy? Here's the deal. If I leave that up, he's cubing it. I have to kill it. I have to kill it. Especially when he just... He just... Who throws out a Doomguard like that in a control matchup and risks discarding your good stuff? That's what I want to know. He lost one Dark Pack, so... I mean, there's a chance he can't kill his... He discarded one pack, so there's only one pack left. So, statistically... If he tries to cube it, it's unlikely he could pack it right away. But am I willing to take that huge risk? No, not really, not. Hmm. 
Like he has to play his Doom Guard from hand for a reason, right? Toast, this guy's in chat. Is he? Is he chat? Is he really? Also, let's make sure the account wasn't created today to troll. Tells he's actually in chat. Oh. But when was the account made? See, these are the questions you gotta ask yourself, chat. Let's not witch hunt some random viewer just because they have the same name. Tells he made the account one year ago. Ooh, dude, buddy, I'm trying to defend you out here, but it's getting real hard. It's getting real hard, man. <sighs> Lich King or Tyrion? Ironically, those are two good picks and they fought each other in the lore. Lich King, Tyrion, Lich King, Tyrion, Lich King, Tyrion, Lich King. Let's 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 king. Got it. When you silence that. Your magic shall not He runs Doom Guard, so I assume he has Skull of the Minari. Which also makes the idea of playing Doom Guard from hand so weird. Cause he saw my deck too, right? He saw that I wasn't a fast deck. That or his hand was really bad. That could be it. His hand could have just been garbage. And he doesn't care about any discards. Unfortunate for him though. He didn't hit Skull and he didn't hit Lackey. I'm gonna say power quality. So, so you have Harrison, how does Skull summon a Doom Guard? Uh, my opponent can't see my hand, so he doesn't know I have Harrison. Um, these plays are making me question mark. Can you question mark him? These are some really question mark plays. Go for the old board clear here. I don't mind that. These are kind of annoying. I can just belt this up and then hit it, I guess, but. The battle. Like to play with Ding. 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 <laughs> like, not only is he running um, cube lock with Doom Guards and cube. He's also running the Spirit Singer Umbra on top of it. Which means he has a strategy revolved around doing a huge burst with like the combo. Yeah. <laughs> so we're waiting on Galvadon with Zola. Although sometimes you Zola, you're Linessa instead. Lenny Grow. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on the Galvadon for now. I could go Uther here and just start punching him in the face. Which path to it goes like Hero Power and Rich King. Hmm, is he gonna cube that? I mean. Of 
use two defiles. If I hit in, you could potentially hellfire and trade off. Hellfire trade, I'll trade hellfire. Right, I can trade hellfire, and this will still stay alive though. What about the Skratata guy? Nah, I'm good, chill. Because Lord Garfrey's a thing too. That's cool, it's not bad. That's fine. There's the cube. Okay. Galvatron, the last Kaleidosaur. Liquid membrane, but he might, he might have voodoo doll. And by might, he probably has voodoo doll. Which path you can always target it, right? Meh. Toasting the other ink. I mean, if you're toasting, you toast things. Perfect. Specimen. You're gonna copy that? I mean, there is such a thing as too much Warlords, buddy. Oh, this guy's trying to target a stealth minion. Why is both my spike rituals at the bottom? <sighs> oh great, now what? Which path to choose? I don't even begin to know what the right play here is. Ah, oh, jeez. There's so much stuff. Tell us that was bad. What's, what was the good play then? If I use equality now, then he goes down, and so then it's a giant board again. How's he gonna kill this? He runs mountain giant in this? He's cubing that?
I definitely need to save quality consecrate now that there's two giants in that. That's what I draw. Hmm, what happens if I had killed that Void Lord that turn? Will things be that much different? Maybe. 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 You know, all power with, with equality, but then I have to deal with the Void Lords. The thing that's making my tarm so bad is the that helps. I right, call it the consecrate here. Rich coil tarm. Hmm, the coal tower is pretty good, you're right. I can quality consecrate here. But then again, it's hard to get guitar and value. Very quality consecrate. Nah, no, this is one of those few times where tarm is just goosey. You want a vicious scale hide though, instead of hero power. No, we can use hero power. I'll let this clear out all the things. Well, that's all the cubes he dealt with. And once he goes Gul'danning, he'll summon a billion. Warlords, yes. Good suggestion on the coil. When people make suggestions, it is helpful. When people say, there's a good play here. So many it's not as helpful. I can't turn that information into anything actionable. That's coil to 4-5 cube toast. See, I can work with that. I can work with that. Huh. All right, what's the good play? Like, Wild Pyro with Consecrate clears the board, but those are my quality activators. I, I need to save my quality activators. Pyro equality into Galavadon is an option. I'm just worried about... um. Pyro quality into Galavadon. <sighs> and then he go downs, and I can quality consecrate, but then I deal don't deal with the giant. Yeah, like at the same time, I can just start hitting these things down, right? Like there's no rule where I have to react. If he's not reacting, why should I react, right? He wants to go down. If he goes down, I go call the clear. What are we waiting for? He's not a cube. Oh yes. They'll serve me now. He's gonna Godfrey this? Or Hellfire? I mean he's Hellfire and he should trade him first. Vanessa's good. Unfortunately I don't have spike rich steeds. Both Spark Rich Steeds at the bottom. I'd rather get Spark Rich Steed than Nessa Valley. I I'm guessing those are empty. What the heck? <laughs> I think it's time to Galvadon, right? You could toast you get Uther. Consecrate? I don't have to consecrate this. Like I could Uther, but 
I don't see what the advantage of Uther is. I'm go with them. Yeah, good enough. Do I bother with hero power? What's the downside? What's the upside? Because if you ooze there, you have lethal next to How much... How big do you think my hammer is? It's a 5 damage hammer, not a 25 damage hammer. I only put in like 16 here, right? What would I can technically go through if I go equality, concert create, and empower equality. The problem comes from the fact that that's not exactly gonna win me the game. Put 16 on him and then he re taunts up. I mean, I guess I keep my Galvadon, but then I can't do with the board after. So I'm just gonna spike ridge here. Pyro, equality, spike ridge. That's not gonna do much. I can use singing. I can see using a consecration though. Actually, no, I'm just gonna chill. The only thing I'm worried about is Gul'dan and given the 1 billion void lords that we are dealing with, I don't know. Should I say Spellbreaker? No, if I didn't Spellbreaker the Rin, my deck would have been blown up about 5 turns ago. Plus, how do you win? I mean, the better question is how does he win? I'm almost out of cards. I can't tell if I'm falling into his trap card or if he's falling into my trap card. Whose trap card is being fallen on where? The battle! I'm gonna buff it on this so silence isn't as effective. I mean, he's doing the right thing, not tapping. So he can be ahead in fatigue. Oh, he was looking for Gul'dan all this time. After all this time, Severus? Wow, he still gets the Doom Guard with four, five dead Warlords and like a billion death Boy Walkers. Jesus. Jesus. That's some heezy level unfortunality. I think we quality this, right? 
it's one of those things where I which path to choose out of cards the nest is gonna draw me two cards though I told the nest at this turn if I give him a free turn it's mountain drying time Two card ahead in fatigue. Ugh. Yeah, if I don't let Lin Linessa now, then he's gonna drop Mountain Dragon. I can't deal with it. Uda, I mean, it's one of those things where so be it. One Cobalt Librarian, one Amethyst, one Doom Guard, one Skull of the Minari, that's four cards, one Godfrey, that's five card, one Mountain Giant, that's six card. Some people run one Hellfire. I don't think he has Voodoo though. One Cobalt Librarian, one Hellfire, one Amethyst, one Doom Guard, one Mountain Giant, one Skull of the Minari, one Librarian. One Amethyst, one Hellfire, one Doom Guard, one Skull, one Mountain. Actually, he might have the seventh card. It's the coin. No, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have Voodoo, though. We account for all six cards. This is coin. And Godfrey, yeah. Voodoo Doll wouldn't make the cut over any of that. Of all that card, Voodoo Doll is the first one you cut. And he played one. I must feed now. So many There's a mountain giant. Decisions. I have to uh, Uther this turn or else I die. So what are the cards? He doesn't have direct removal and I really doubt he's putting 23 into that. Not that it matters, I'm always going face here. Dead to silence? I don't think so. Will he show us the skull of Minari? So many bloody decisions. I think went to like five for those that game. Thank you. What do you ask of me? <laughs> oh, I must feed now. He's out with his spellstone. Mine. 
the museum him. <laughs> There's the Doom Guard. Last two cards should be Godfrey and Kobo Librarian. Play your Kobo Librarian and Godfrey. Bare naked your soul. Oh, it's Hellfire. He doesn't run Godfrey? No. Oh, I guess he cut Godfrey for um, Kobo Librarian. Oh. Winning this game by the skin of my ass. The light is mine. Harrison or no boss? What, how, what does that have to do with boss? I just lose the game. No boss related. I mean, I should really not keep the quest against Rogue, but... Come see, come see. Uh, new subs from Ichibong, Livetus, Artemis, T-Bone, Trisku, Fabtergy, Spy Rise, Zimonia, Vinny Spaghetti, Debbie, Space Marine, Warpath, and Terra Matic. Thanks for the sub. Oh yes, my favorite, uh, my favorite most interactive deck. Chad, you excited to play against Quest Row? Uh-huh. Oh, what a placer. You're gonna make vicious scale hide your completion. Well, buddy, you do whatever you want. If you want to complete the quest with vicious scale hide, that's up to you. So, did you beat the warlock? Yes, after one thousand years. Just trying to apply as much pressure as I can. After 10,000 years, I am free. Charlie MX90, thanks for the sub. Wink, wink. There once was a man from Gilnea. Wait, you're just throwing a pig to die? He trusted you. She was good. And you killed her. Maybe I could use Spike Rooster, I don't know. 
Fish just go hide, head in. I'm guessing he wants to bounce it back. <laughs> Interesting trade. Very interesting trade. I mean, play around uh, concentration is just smart, but you won't hear me admit it. I'm going to prep to vanish. I need quality. No, prep to vanish. 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 I mean, he was going to complete it anyway. No, prep to vanish. Oh, you've got the bench. If I finish the quest now, sure I got a big ass beetle. But that's not gonna win me the game. There's no point trying to rush him down because he has three vicious skill hides. If I Galvadon. Alright, fine, we'll try to rush the Galvadon. The five attack means it can kill anything on board, I guess. He needs like second glacial or a wax elemental. If he has prep, however, whew, we gonna get it. But we really need to hope he doesn't prep. He's gonna heal to full. Don't wax with glacial, don't wax with glacial, don't wax with glacial, don't wax with glacial. That's fine. Oh, that's so raven. I'm gonna kill you! No, Wave Fury! Puck! King Pucker That's so pucking puck man puck puck puckety puck <sighs> I think Tarm's a good plan for down the line right Resident Sleeper Dragon dies to three <sighs> But having a big ass dragon is good too Harm doesn't work, yes it does. I must act now. Which country are you from? What would Uther do? Oh man, then Rowan Fury. That's so sad. I hope you like my invention. I'm sad, chat. I'm actually sad. And with two vicious scale hides still in his deck. He's gonna heal for Omega. Omega chat. 
I can't beat Omega healing. What would Uther do? Did I expect this much, uh, while well, Pyromancers? Which path to choose? Consecrate? No, Consecrate's not going to kill anything. Vanish Ink, oh, that would be pretty sad. Although replaying a Galvaton is not exactly bad, right? Oh, he does run sad. Hang on, he, he's struggling to use his brain cells. Give him some time, give him some time, Chad. It's working, the gears are turning. Finally realizes he does not have lethal. This is the trashiest player I've ever seen. All right, we know he has two charging uh, one ones, right? Which path to choose? Now we gotta do this. Vicious skill hide. Wax elemental, so I don't get to heal from vicious skill hide. Damn, this guy's playing everything at always the right time. It is infuriating. Because now I can't heal. With the vicious skill hide play. We know everything in his hand. Well, almost everything. Deck hand, um, pig, right? Wait, deck hand, pig, and top decks.
Just one as you cause to arm. Uh, I don't have minions in my deck. Okay. Sap double charge kills me. He needs exactly sap double charge. If he gets two saps, I'm like going to Boner Town. Don't take me back to Boner Town. Oh my god, am I gonna fatigue him? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm gonna fatigue a quest rogue. A quest rogue is gonna fatigue against a quest paladin. Which century am I in? We know he has sap, but if he saps Lanessa, it just comes back down. He's gonna prep, prep vanish, prep mimic pod. Let's see what he gets. Sap would be really good for him. All right, he got the vanish, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Oh, he's trying. So we know he has a vanish. A South Sea and a Stone Tusk Borer. I don't know what the last card is. Well, let's force out the Vanish now. Right. If you're going to Vanish, you're going to Vanish. Ding! Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Hmm, do I want two Lanessas? I mean, he's gonna vanish the board, and I can only play one Van uh, Lanessa each turn anyway. Sure. He needs to vanish and then put five charges on the board. You the oh, jeez. You can put four charges, but not five charges, though. You mimic the vanish. Oh, if we Harrison, he can't charge with Celsius, right? Good point. Chat, you right, you right, chat. Fatigues me, but uh, I think it's worth. Do I want to? <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> what am I facelessing? I'm gonna faceless his charger, maybe. I'm not gonna faceless my own stuff. Saturday night chain gang. 
Go white on the board. Because he used both prep, he can at most put in four charges, which leaves me at 20 with the vanish play. So he might vanish double boar. But then he still has sap is the problem. Wait, why is the board zero? <gasps> oh no, the shadow step. Okay. Ow. Ow. Yeah. I hope you like my invention. Okay. Ah, huh, neat. Well, I know he doesn't run sap because he has zero cards. So if I just drop a Lanessa, I win, right? Oh wait, I fatigue for one card. Yeah, I literally, I, I, I just put, <laughs> I just put Lanessa. Am I gonna regret this? It's hard to imagine a way I regret this if I play Lanessa. Steed on a woman. Steed on a woman. I have never ever seen a quest role get fatigued against quest paladin of all decks. Hey, lights out.